All right, time for a little bit of science here. We have the Imagination Station in on this 4th of July holiday, so we welcome in Sarah. She Hi. is going to be talking some science and, fittingly so, a little bit about fireworks. Yes. So today is the 4th of July, and how many people are already scoping out excellent seats to see some fireworks tonight? I caught some last night, and I was watching them, and as they were exploding, I said, how does that happen? Well, I'm so going to make you an expert. So, you are going to make us an expert this morning, yeah. and the folks that are going to be headed out tonight will get a little lesson beforehand. So where do we start with this? All right, so we're going to start with safety first. Always important. Um, and in our beaker here, we've got some methyl alcohol. Okay. And I'm going to actually let you light it. Okay, and we're using methyl because it burns with a nearly invisible flame. Perfect. Do I have it? I'll try again. Try again. I think I got it now. There we go. We got it. All right, it. perfect. See, it's so invisible. It, it's we very difficult can't to see. see it. Yes. All right. So what we're doing is we're going to talk about fireworks and how they get some of those really bright colors you were talking about. And um, what manufacturers do is they use all kinds of different elements. Each element has its own color when it is combusted. Okay. So I brought some different elements with us today, and I'll let you go ahead and pick one. They're labeled. Just and then, any random one. Yep, any random one. Okay. So which one is that? That is lithium. Li, lithium. So this is exactly what you're going to find in your cell phone batteries. And uh, we'll see if we could dim down the lights a little bit. It'll make it a little bit easier for us to see. Okay, well, let's do that. Perfect. All right, so lithium, like I said, is what we find in cell phone batteries. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of lithium powder in there. And we can see it's a really nice bright pink. Okay. Very cool. Pretty neat. That is a, uh, a vibrant, hot sort of pink. Yeah. All right, go ahead and pick another one. All right. What's that one? Strontium. Strontium. Okay, and I'll give That's you exactly a hint. exactly what I thought. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you a hint on the color. This is what you find in road flares. All right, so, so maybe a bright orange. All right, that's a pretty good guess. Let's see what we got. So you're exactly right. It's like a bright Excellent. orange, kind of a red color almost. Okay. Okay, what else do you got over there? Uh, an A. Yeah, this one is um, sodium chloride. Okay. This is regular old table salt. So this is stuff you've got in your kitchen. Okay. Okay. Look, it's a really nice orange it's good color. good orange color. Yeah. So we'll put some of that in. Okay. And now what's your last one? Okay, so we got potassium here. Very good. And do you know where we find potassium? Uh, in bananas. Yes, exactly. So let's add some potassium. And it doesn't burn as bright. It's kind of like a whitish purple almost. Sure. Okay, it's a little more subdued. And we can see some of those other colors in there. That's because our metal salts that we're using today, our elements, they burn individually. Okay. So if we mix them all together. Oh, this is when you get the real cool fireworks. Yeah. So I saved a little bit of all of them over here. And so if we put them all together, we can see all those really nice bright colors. We've got like some blue and some green, some orange. Okay. Now, what I didn't put in here yet was copper. Okay, All so right. I have some copper in this pipette, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot a little bit of copper in there. Okay, and copper is this really bright, really nice green. Okay, and uh, copper is actually what pennies are made out of, or the Statue of Liberty, Cut. right? Now, this can't be our grand finale. My favorite fireworks have sparkles, so naturally I had to bring some sparkles for you. All right, so, so we'll top it pipette, off with the grand finale. Yep. So let's add some of these. And what is this then? This is actually iron particles that are very, very, very fine. Very and cool. If we wanted to get really fancy, we could kind of mix them together. So there can be more than one element in each kind of fireworks. It is all about the elements yeah. of the fireworks. All right, Sarah, thank you so much for that. Of course, Imagination Station, you guys are doing your summer camps right now, so that we is are. all very busy for you as well. We are busy as well here on WT11, your day, and we will be right back after this.